up, you guys. Have a nice event tomorrow. Coffee's about coffee. Have a nice event tomorrow. Come on. Come on, man. Let me know. We've been working on this for two hours. You've been sharing flyers for two hours? Yeah, I'm so tired right now. Have you heard of digital flyers? No. What's a digital flyer? Oh my god, we're digital flyers, what you've done in two hours will be done in two minutes. Really? I'm gonna go check that out. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Ro Tami, co-founder of Digital Flyers. Hi, my name is Tenzin Chomi, and I'm financial economic software. At Digital Flyers, we believe a sale is one thing, but awareness is everything. So I want you to take a quick moment and reflect. Think of the last time you received a paper flyer. What did you do with that flyer? Did you look at the flyer? Chances are you threw that flyer in the garbage or you left it in your pocket. Research has shown one to two percent of one to two percent is the yield of paper flyers. Paper flyers have been proven as very ineffective. And this is a medium used by small businesses for most of the advertising. As you can see, most of it ends up on the floor. And guess what? Someone may be forced to take these flyers, and these are small business owners. Preferably barbershop owners and salon owners. So they feel obliged to people in their community and they have to accept this flyer sometimes unwillingly <coughs> because these are the people that patronize them for the service. But they do not like this, very important. So I'm pretty sure you guys might be wondering how do we solve this problem, right? Uh, the way we're going to solve this problem is by using a traditional or a smart TV that we see uh, today is all over the place. And we're gonna put it in a small business such as Barbershop where people spend hours, and there's, I'm pretty sure there's not, never been a people who never went to Barbershop. So a lot of people just sit around and do nothing. So instead of doing nothing, we can put up our uh, small business advertisement for hours and hours, and people are gonna have the opportunity to, to actually look at small business instead of just seeing a big corporation advertising their product on TVs and stuff like that. So now you may be asking yourself one question, why digital signage? Well, research has shown digital signage is winning. One in five people remember what they see on digital signs and tend to become customers. So that's a 20% yield compared to one to two percent as we saw on paper flyers. And this shows that half of the businesses in the US said they were going to increase their budget on digital signage within the next year. So there is a lot of potential in this industry. And last thing, as you can see, digital signage is winning. Compared to magazines, newspapers, billboards, digital signage has the highest recall rate of 54%. So it is the best and the most efficient means of advertising right now. So as you can see, this is our first uh, customer's clean cut. Uh, and uh, we have our advertisement Echo Bright. Um, they're a small business that's advertising like a green product. Um, so yeah, this we all we already started our uh, project, and we hope to grow uh, in in the near future. So as you saw with the whole process, Kofi is a business owner, the guy sharing the flyers, and he's also promoting. So this is Kofi, a businessman living his business to promote to connect with his customers. Very ineffective. It's a three-step process, uh, and this takes days and it takes hours, as you saw him, to share just a few flyers, and they end up on the ground. But with the process we have, we believe we're integrating businesses and customers. We're eliminating the middleman. And this takes seconds to minutes. How does this work? You go to our website, www.digitalflyers.com. Pick a flyer template. So Kofi picks his flyer template for his BBQ store. Bam, upload and pay. His flyer is up. <laughs> Kofi is winning, Kofi is happy, we're happy. Barbershop store owner is happy. Everybody's happy. <laughs> so who do we advertise? And this is a big part of our business. Uh, it's all about small business helping small business. So if I want to put something up, I can put uh, my advertisement in a, uh, another store down the road so that other people in the same town can see that there is a new barbecue sh uh, store in the town. So that's, that's all about small business helping small business. So, uh, so, our, so our group. So, Timmy is our uh, co-founder. Uh, Damon is the guy who found the problem and saw that there's a problem there. And then uh, Naheem is our uh, graphic designer and he's a uh, Gusty alum. And I'm a researcher and Kofi is a researcher too. 
So yeah, growth. How do we foresee the company as growing in the next few years? So we've divided this into business halves. Uh, on the right, there's a graph on a chart with the screens we have, because we plan on putting screens in business spaces. We currently have one screen, and plan on having five screens up by July 2016. So we have plan on having five screens up this July, and we plan on acquiring more screens each business half. So by 2019, we're going to have 100 screens in the Minneapolis St. Paul area. So right now, for the first half, we're going to be doing a lot of promotions, so we're not going to make a profit, and that's not our focus for now. But in the long run, we foresee this to be very profitable. And by 2019, with just less than 100 screens, we should be making as much as $100,000, which we believe is a fantastic year. <laughs> so these are just a map of places that we have so far. Uh, we have about eight to 11 uh, businesses that want to put their uh, advertisement in our, our product uh, and on the, uh, the TVs that we have uh, in the business areas. Uh, the red one is what we have right now, is a, a friendly, uh, where, where we currently have our TV in. So yeah, this is uh, one of our first clients, Skin City. We designed their flyer, and we have their flyer up in Green Cut St. Paul. Uh, this is also another of the clients, Echo Bright. They're a cabinet cleaning company, and as you can see from their flyer, it's green. That's the focus of their ads, to have green advertisements. So we do a very good job in portraying what the companies want to portray about their services. So yeah, those are just some of our clients. We have a list of 11 businesses ready to subscribe to Digital Flyers this July. We also have four business promoters or event promoters who are willing to also use our screens to promote their events. So this, this business again is giving back to the community. So with our advertisement, we're gonna uh, allow uh, such as bit, uh, Cassis Run or anything like that uh, to every size for free. And then at the same time, the, uh, the type of advertisement that we use today, which is like what we've seen Kobe pass out flyers, stand totally against what we believe in, which is, which is sustainability. So with, I, I, we believe that with digital flyers, we will um, encourage people to use digital instead of like using a bunch of paper that no one looks at. Yeah, and just a last, uh, just a rebrief. Uh, we are going to allow our businesses to have the power to choose where they put their ads. So they're going to be able to specify the geographical niche. So you can choose Southwest St. Paul and put your flyers up in businesses around your business and not just have your business ad on Google.com where you don't know who is building your ad. So we believe this gives small businesses power. Digital Flyers believes in small businesses. We believe small businesses are the cornerstone of America. Thank you. marketing, uh, just meeting business owners and discussing with them. That is what you saw Kofi doing, the word-to-word -word marketing. We're taking that responsibility. We do the word-to-word -word marketing with those businesses. All you have to do is do business with us, and you're indirectly doing business for everyone. So that's the main way we're going to use to reach out. We're also going to use social media. We're also going to have digitalflyers.com, but we're going to reach out to businesses and make sure we try and make them see the value of digital flyers. I'm curious about this model of you supplying the television and the digital flyer website because the it's one thing with the content and the website it seems very clever and that the individual business can go in and get the template and do it and I do see lots of places that already have TVs of their own big screens and whatever. Why is it necessary that people have your TV set up? Is that uh, important to have that linked? And is that pulling down your possible revenue growth by having those two things linked? That was a lot of questions all at once, but there you go. So yeah, uh, one, I'll just quickly go over the answer. So on the business side, uh, as I said, the businesses don't have to do the work towards marketing. Now on the business owner side, as you saw in the first picture, they are forced to take paper flyers. And I'm talking about small business owners, not chains. So they do not like this, a lot of businesses. And our mentor owns a barbershop. For 20 years, he's been putting up flyers in his store. He doesn't like this. He has this problem. He wants them to take them out. 
but he doesn't want really to tell that directly. So he uses our screens. It makes his place look more organized. Now, as with the revenues, as with the screens, uh, smart TVs today, with the 42 inch smart TV we've done and using, are only $375 with install, in installation. And this is just the only investment we need. We do not have any overhead costs, no office, as we use clean cut sync, call office as our office. Uh, and also, we do not have any employees. We run this ourselves. So there's no one being paid to share flyers. So we do have no overhead costs. So that's how we're able to break even. Uh, the business spaces do not charge us anything. If you're putting a TV screen in the Mall of America, you're going to be paying a lot of money. But with small businesses, they do not want the money. The ones we've spoken to, at least, and the ones we've done our research on. So, so what about competition? Um, I mean, if, if you look at, for example, uh, the gas stations, for example, you see digital displays there. Or if, to, to the other judge's point, if, let's say, cable companies can direct advertising of where the shop owner actually purchases the television. Mm -hmm. um, have, have you considered that as a you know, potential competitive threat? Right. I mean, that, that could be a potential uh, competition threat, but as of right now, there there isn't any uh, competition like that. Only competition that we have is a traditional local uh, newspaper or uh, local uh, radio. So local newspaper and, uh, and local radios are uh, a, a means of like advertising, but at the same time, those are they, they only reach like certain age people. So, for example, local newspaper only people who are like 40 years or older tend to read newspaper compared to people who are younger. Yeah, just to add to that, they don't have chains. They have one store. You just with us, you can get 100 stores. So we have a chain. So that's how we really get an advantage over the market. 